Welcome to Lesson 2, Diagnosis, Kleinfelter Syndrome. My name is Human Sadri. I'm a faculty at Wake Forest School of Medicine, uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This lesson focuses on identifying the wide range of symptoms of Kleinfelter syndrome in adults and the pathways to diagnosis. It is almost impossible to just visually diagnose Kleinfelter patients by looking at them. Although a lot of them are tall men, but this is not very rare to see tall men in our community. Very often, Kleinfelter syndrome patients are diagnosed during fertility evaluation as physician uh, by examining them, find that they have small and mainly firm testicles. Uh, in addition to this, uh, having difficulty in uh, education um, and also some difficulty in um, their legs and have a higher prevalence of leg ulcers because of uh, circulation issue depend and related to this genetic background or other things that sh uh, could help and consider you know diagnosis of a patient in my practice I can tell you that I have worked with excellent psychiatrists that you know by consultation of the patients they were suspected to client filters and actually they were initial physician that they found the patient's issue and then they refer to us or other colleagues for uh, further evaluation. These are a list of clinical manifestations that potentially can help to diagnose Kleinfelter patients. Uh, visibly noticeable physical symptoms including a slightly taller than average stature. Decreased facial and or pubic hair, gynecomastia, narrow shoulders and or broad hips, small depression in the chest, difficulty straightening out the elbows, radio ulnar synostosis, curved little finger, fifth finger uh, clinodactyly, flat feet, uh, pesplanus. Body composition, including increased abdominal fat mass, adiposity, decreased muscle mass and strength, and also decreased bone density. Gonadal symptoms are including small firm testes, undescended testes or cryptorchism, decreased bilateral testicular testes volumes, which the average could be between 4 to 8 milliliter. Other clinical manifestations in ca cardiovascular symptoms, including abnormalities in left ventricular function, coronotropic incompetence or reduced cardiopulmonary performance, recurrent leg ulcers or vein insufficiency, thrombotic events, deep vein thrombosis or pul pulmonary embolism. Endocrinological symptoms are including azoospermia, the absence of sperm in the ejaculate, and resulting infertility. Increased gonadotropin levels, which means elevated FSH and LH, decreased testosterone levels, or hypogonadism, presence of diabetes or metabolic syndrome. Cognitive and psychiatric symptoms um, are including a slightly lower IQ, uh, executive functioning impairment, social development delays, speech, language, or auditory processing impairments, learning disabilities or memory issues, autism spectrum disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADD, ADHD, psychiatric disturbances, anxiety, and or depression. 
genetic testing, of, of course, confirms the KS diagnosis. A cardiotype or microarray confirms the extra X chromosome. Typically, it's one extra chromosome, which means 47 XXY will be the karyotype. Many adults are underdiagnosed, so they remain untreated too. Uh, those being born today have a higher chance because of you know more common genetic tests. A lot of women they love to have the cell-free DNA screening, which is very you know affordable and non-invasive, which is as a screening test can actually help to detect. Uh, the fetus with KS and also other genetic tests as a diagnosis, uh, including the CVS or amniocentesis. And in addition to this, a lot of pediatricians, you know, as part of their diagnosis, they order karyotyping, and that actually helps for early interventions. As mentioned, uh, 80 to 90 percent of Klein filters, they have 47 XXY karyotype. This means all the cells, they have extra X chromosomes. In addition, around 7 to 10% of Klein filters are mosaic, which means they have a combination of 46 XY and 47 XXY cells. They have mixed cell lines within the body that nest together in a mosaic-like pattern. It is very important to consider that the 47 XYY karyotype is not a variant of 47 XXY or Klein filters. XYY patients, which means having extra Y chromosomes, do not have the medical or infertility issues of those with Klein filters. 48XXYY or 48XXYY and other related karyotypes are kind of an other variation of Klein filters. They are much less common than classic KS and used to be thought of as variant of KS, although some, um, you know, physician scientists, they try to categorize them separately. And while they are sharing some symptoms with classic Klein filters, they have their own distinct characteristic. As again, I mentioned, these are much rarer than Klein filters. Here is a list of useful references, including or website, access website, which you can find more information related to this lesson and other aspects of Klein filter syndrome. I hope you enjoy this course and I wish you a wonderful time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.